Friday. Today we're looking at the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. This is good things. The cups are upright. This is usually a very wealthy person. Um, you can see even by the stance, by the way he is sitting on that bench, he is confident. He is ready. He has it all. Uh, the feather in the hair and the way he is dressed would lead us to believe he was a rich person. Um, and this is a very, very good card. But today when I was looking at it, I was very focused in on his posture, okay? And I have been doing a lot of work on my shadow side. Uh, shadow side is the negative side, which usually as you get older, you're not as afraid of it. Um, but you know, when, when you have someone and you say something like, um, you just say something kind of negative and they totally overreact, that's usually because they are unaware of them, their shadow self and they do not, um, it's such a button and they're in such denial that it makes them furious. It would be like if you told someone they were controlling and all of a sudden they just snapped and started yelling and don't insult me and da 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 da, da. But if you told them something like, hey, I think you're purple, they would be like, uh, whatever, that's crazy. They wouldn't get mad at it. And I came to some conclusions this weekend that I can be a bully. Yep, not a bully that picks on someone that doesn't deserve it, but sometimes when I go into a fight or uh, an argument, I had, some of you may remember, I had a big argument with Kaiser last year, and uh, I literally bullied them on Twitter and other places into getting rid of my bill, which I was right, and it was okay. I didn't bully a person, I bullied a company, but when I don't get my way, I can be a bully. And I went back and I said, where does that come from? And I know it's because it happened to me, you know, in my childhood, or it was how I was shown how to fight, or you go for it, fight dirty to win, or whatever it was. Not really fighting dirty, I shouldn't say that, because that's not what I do. But I went back and I examined that this all came from not feeling supported, okay? If you feel supported or like you have backup, you have no reason to act like that. But if it becomes so intense that you need to control, you need to overcome, you need to have a show of power, um, it is full of fear and unsupported. This guy does not look unsupported at all. I will find where I am supported and hold that space, okay? Think about that. It may be a, a spouse or it may not be a spouse. You may have a spouse that isn't supportive. Sometimes is, sometimes it's your kid. Sometimes it's just your religion, your spirituality, your, your universe to know that you're su supported. But when I go into that mode now, this will be my mantra. I don't have to roll over everybody. I don't have to get my way. I will find where I am supported and hold that space. It actually worked with a woman I had an argument with. I went in very, instead of like going aggressively, uh, I was like, hey, we've got to fix this and we found a great solution because I went in feeling supported, not feeling freaked out, not feeling full of fear. I will find where I am supported and hold that space. Find it before you're in that situation. Okay, everybody, have a great day.